Hi Aries, welcome to Esoteric Tales and Tarot. This is your October monthly Psychic and Tarot reading. And this month I'm going to be using the Everyday Witch Tarot deck by Deborah Blake, artwork by Elizabeth Alba. I've done an unboxing of this deck on my channel. It's amazing. It's got the Halloween theme for the end of the month. It's got witches and cats and fun things to do with that time of year. I'm going to clarify with the Barbara Walker Tarot. Again, I thought this was kind of fun artwork on here. I've done an unboxing of this deck on my channel as well. It's got this great um, cool backing and lovely artwork, uh, a bit of an 80s inspired, inspired deck. And then I'm going to get a special message from the Illumin uh, beautiful oracle deck here and this is by uh, Janice. Janice, I had a psychic reading from her. She's an artist and sound healer who lives in New Zealand in South Otago down the very bottom of the South Island and I've got a funny story about this deck of cards, how it came to me. So I think that this is going to be a fun reading for you. Of course I'm going to do the the crystal ball scrying. I've got some messages for you from there and then we'll go into the tarot. So I already was with, of course, there's been the full moon. I've been out with with the crystal each night underneath the, the full moon. So I've had some really nice messages. But for you, Aries, I got, uh, I've taken some, some notes of what I had down. So I got uh, too proud to take on someone else's advice. And that was in context of, I just saw it as you being a bit stubborn, like maybe somebody had told you something and you know, some advice and you thought, I'm gonna go with my own idea, but now you're kind of thinking, oh, maybe I should have listened. And I think you're stubbornly kind of pushing ahead. And maybe you do need to think about what they've said. There could be something in that that's really important for you with the decision that you're making or something that you're building or something that you're doing. Uh, also, I saw in the crystal ball uh, a freight train and then I was looking in at the shipping containers. I had China shipping and something or other I was flashing in front of my eyes, like logistics feeling. And then I saw trucks after that. So I was just kept thinking about, have you ordered something important online that you're waiting for? Maybe it's coming from overseas and that's important to you at the moment or are you about to order something and just a little bit of extra information i thought to myself it'll be important for you uh, to make sure that you've ordered it correctly because i feel like it might need to like there might be a logistics issue as in maybe part of it needs to be returned or something needs to go back if you haven't measured properly or written the right details for example in the items where you put you know your, your name and address and something along those lines or maybe there's some type of paperwork you need to fill out so there could be a delay with that so that's just a message that I had so have you ordered something correctly at uh, the trucks I felt like that could be to do with needing to relocate um, maybe again the sizing of the truck are you going to need, if you're moving, you know, check how much you're going to have versus the size of the truck required. I felt like this could be just a temporary move as well for work, something that's going to be quite fruitful for you when you're thinking of what you need to take. And again, this logistics of how you're going to go. So get out the maps to make sure that you've picked the most efficient ways of traveling because that was coming through. There was a dragonfly buzzing around my head, buzzing and buzzing around my head when I was outside looking at the crystal ball and I thought that's interesting because I did a little short on dragonflies the other day about folklore and good fortune so I felt like some good fortune was there but also there's something in the folklore about them being like the devil's needles um, and I thought again that's that devil in the detail so you know another little loop back on that and I kind of felt like the energy that you that I was getting for you was sort of a ten of wands a bit of burdens the chariot wanting to kind of um, get away and you know wanting to move and eight of pentacles like growing your money I think it could be a good time to grow money I think you've got opportunities here Aries so I think it's going to be really interesting let's get into the tarot portion to see whether the cards match up with anything that was in the psychic reading and you get some further in-depth information
Okay, Aries, so I can see how things have been feeling a bit tricky. We've got a lot of this swords energy and, you know, plenty of stuff to do with change, heaps of swords on the table. We've got a couple of major arcanas as well, so it's a big month. We've got the world, the moon, we've got the strength card coming up twice it's funny because the strength card this one in particular has jumped out for several of the of the other signs this month and it always makes me think about that leo energy and and sort of the month of august and and eights and infinity uh look it's not the easiest month for for you in terms of of what's on the table but there are some some good points here so i'm going to jump straight into it uh, the overall energy for the month is the Four of Swords. And this I was feeling as though, you know, you need to you need to relax as well because I, I feel as though that combative, you know, nasty perhaps, you know, comments are where communication hasn't been great as well, but maybe hurtful words and things like that have gone on. And I, I couldn't help but notice this new moon here and I thought, okay, that's an opportunity. Light a candle, get the smoke going change the energy if you've got a palo santo stick or um or some sage around you know get that going in your house as well with maybe just light a candle and and try to sort of meditate and relax a bit be careful of your health just you know keep an eye on it because you know you might not be feeling your very best so try to eat well have your vitamins get plenty of rest you've got the eight of swords sitting underneath this i was drawn to as well because um I was feeling as though you're feeling like you're a bit trapped and you know you aren't really you're blindfolded and there's some binds here but it's it's not exactly um you know the worst kind of looking setup there that you can get out of it pretty easily and here it's got the walking away underneath it as well and walking away just with a small pack and then she's you know leaving this emotional stuff behind again the smoke here drawing drawing me to its attention and after you know you walk away you've got this wonderful wheel of fortune energy coming in so that was where I felt as though okay so this is a time of to you know lick your wounds perhaps it's been a bit tricky perhaps it's a, a relationship that's gone a bit a bit um, off the rails you know I was feeling a lot of change energy needed and coming in here to clarify we have the Kali card the queen of swords here it has the Hindu goddess Kali, who is, uh, you know, one of again death and um, and kind of. Uh, I mean, here quite a, a grim looking uh, <laughs> imagery on here, but she actually is uh, the positive side of her. She's protection from your enemies. So the Queen of Swords can have like a vicious tongue, though. So uh, it's a warning to watch your words really at this time. If if um, a relationship, even a work one or a personal one is going funny, you know, don't be the one that's that's using the harsh words. You've got the 10 of wands, this burden, you know, on your back, um, feeling as though you've got a lot of things going on. And uh, that was interesting because underneath is this nine of pentacles. So a nice kind of energy and again, wheel of fortune to match the wheel of fortune under here just three cards under so this one is you know feelings of accomplishment after you've you know actually dropped some of the burdens and this energy is that kind of getting into your craft and your hobbies and you know once you've sort of gotten away and focused more on yourself because she's a very independent person here you'll have that abundance and it will feel like the wheel of fortune's turned around here You've got, uh, again, in this first kind of start of the month energy is uh, the strength card here clarified by the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is represented here with the Hindu god Yama. And this god Yama is, uh, is of, of death as well, but death and justice. And I thought it was interesting because it's the king and the queen down here of swords, so a pairing. And I thought this could have been you um, being, again, using your words and cutting and deciding, you know, I've had enough. Maybe it's a Leo that's involved in this, um, you know, a matching kind of fire sign uh, energy that you could have been paired with as well in, in the relationship. 
and I couldn't help but notice the eight and this infinity kind of eight symbol. There's the over here as well, the eights and the infinity. I thought, yeah, there's a lot of this kind of energy sitting here, but it was this feeling of words that were kind of like, okay, I'm done with that. I'm going to cut it away coming from you and having the strength to, to do so and almost blowing it up here is what I was feeling. And you know, it's come with a bit of heartbreak and this one again, strength card. So again here, this Leo energy sitting here, maybe this sort of happened in uh, August as well. And it's kind of playing out now where you've needed to, you know, pack up your things and relocate might be what you're thinking of doing, or you're kind of having to, to do that even temporarily. Maybe you're going to have a break from things. Perhaps it's, having to sever ties with somebody in an in a workplace as well but I felt as though relationship wise this isn't the card that you want to get the three of swords it's heartbreak it's loss it's you know it's funny because it's even got the same um you know cover here of what this you know sort of the three and the four it's yeah she's looking as though she needs to, the the rest and you know the ink spilt here of the journal there's the th three swords in the heart so yeah something could have felt as though it was a betrayal as though you've had an enemy you're protected from this energy though and you know have the strength to move forward and to focus on other things because the energy straight after this is the knight of pentacles and this was really what I was getting in the crystal ball. So this is the small pack here, even a, a hammer here. So even feeling like they've got their tools and they're, they're measuring up and maybe that feeling of um, logistics and wanting to, to get away. So that kind of feeling and that it might be making you some, some money. So you're looking at your pentacles, you're going ahead thinking, yeah, you know, if I focus on myself and I pack up the small bits that I need and I head off in another direction or I start working on a different project and kind of, you know, get out for a bit and get away from this energy, that's going to be what I need to do because the moon card is here. And I thought it was interesting just given that this month's such a powerful um, moon energy being that, you know, you've got your um, Scorpio coming in at the end of the month with that watery kind of, you know emotional energy coming in there's been the all of the full moon energies coming through so i feel like you don't have all of the information that you need about whatever's going on in that other relationship so the best ideas are to do this to kind of get out of this energy you know because i think you're going to hear what you need in the future and that will make you feel more confident uh, with what needs to happen then sort of towards the end of the month, you were getting this four of pentacles, this miser kind of energy feeling as though you're sitting on your wealth here and a bit concerned about someone taking things that belong to you. Again, if this is to do with somebody at your work, you might feel as though your position's threatened or as though somebody wants to take your blessings. But, you know, just be careful because this is just in your mind, the four of pentacles being the miser card you know you actually still have all of your coins everything's here and it's clarified with the world card so there's good things coming in here um, you've got you know lovely worldly sort of energy going on here you've you really are this is a turning point for you and the world's at your oyster you know you've got everything at your feet so you really you know you don't need to feel like this because what you can do sometimes is you can manifest that lack mentality if you go into that energy so it's sort of cautionary tale to stay out of feeling like that another card jumped out with it which is the five of cups and this is sort of an interesting one too because it's coming up as it feels quite like a sad card really because she's here she set up her party and you know she's got all this lovely food and everything it feels like nobody's shown up you know and there's a disappointment so perhaps it could be that that you were excited about a relationship and it's turned it a bit of a ghosting kind of scenario where you're thinking things were getting going and it was turning into something and then it's had a bit of a fizzer and you've just felt really disappointed so you know there are literally i mean there's even fish here i'm just saw them plenty of fish in the sea there's literally is you know I know people say that it doesn't make you feel much better but but you know don't feel like everything's spilt out because you've still got two cups here standing upright 
you've got the lovely party, celebrate yourself. And you know, I can't help but see this gorgeous little cat here, little pet, you know, there's so much love around for you. So, you know, I don't, uh, it, it doesn't feel like it's a, um, a long-term thing with the world card here. It feels like things are gonna turn around, more opportunities, you know, and getting out and about, you know, would help you to, to have a sense of that. Which brings me to the final message, which is quite interesting about the logistics and everything because we've got movement. And I think it's just lovely because this is a really positive feeling here, beautiful artwork. And I thought this looks like a sort of a magical kind of tent, like a glamping, but it made me feel again about this, you know, perhaps you'd, the best thing to do is to pack up and have a little mini break, or maybe just go and, you know, if there's an opportunity to take a job elsewhere and it's even a short term thing, you know, distance makes the heart grow fonder. So perhaps, you know, this relationship needs some space. Or, you know, perhaps if you're in a working uh, group and, you know, that something's gone a bit sour, maybe you do need a break from it, start another project and, you know, perhaps the energy will change. So, you know, mixed emotions about this um, month, Aries. But, you know, I think you can turn it around for yourself. So enjoy October. Thanks for listening. Please um, like, share and subscribe to my channel. I would love that, Aries. And... Uh, enjoy your Halloween.